Let's start off and talk to Lily in Arizona. Absolutely. Lily, you're live with Eric and V. Hello. It's been a very long while. Hey. It has been. What did you want to talk about today? I'm here to sort of continue. It's been a while, so it's not like we're continuing where we left off because my views have changed a little bit. Oh, okay. In some ways. But I'm hoping to have this call get into the heart of what it is that I believe about mathematics. Oh, I love mathematics. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be all you guys. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Okay, so... so I what, don't what, think so. Plot oh, twist. what do you got? It's about art, please. Oh, well, then I'm good, too. We're good. Okay. What's, <laughs> yeah. what's your take on math? For everyone. It is primarily an experiential endeavor. It is something that humans do with abstracts. It is not about the ontology of the abstracts themselves. Independent of, you know, if you're a Platonist, which I'm not anymore, or, you know, whatever you believe about whether numbers exist, math is about how we feel when we're doing that sort of stuff. Hmm. Math is about how we feel. Uh, well, so so I, I, I guess I kind of want to pin down a couple of things, and I want people to be able to follow with us. So would you mind if I kind of repeat it a bit back to you and made sure that I was on the same page? Please do. Okay, cool. So when you're talking about ontology, when you're talking about the way we interact with math, um, you're not saying that math isn't real or that math doesn't work because math does. Um, it's just that math does not essentially correspond to things in reality. I can count imaginary things, uh, you know, one Daffy Duck, two Daffy Duck, three Daffy Ducks. I can add them, multiply them, subtract them, but that doesn't make Daffy Duck real in real life. And so that's what you mean by abstract. And so when you're saying it doesn't matter ontologically, ontologically would just be what exists. And so you're saying it doesn't matter whether or not it exists. It matters whether or not we're applying that math to something that we can use that math with. And I, I, I'm entirely on board so far, I think. I think the only place where I would kind of fudge it a little bit is um, I would just add like a caveat to the beginning saying that, that this in no way invalidates that math is effective. Um, you know, when, when done right, um, but that our use of it is limited to, you know, w w where we're applying it. Does that sound about right? Do you disagree with me? Everything except for that done right. What does done right mathematics mean? Of course, it's obvious that when you add, say, one to one, you get two, mm -hmm. right? But... There's already, that's the right way to do it, except in all of the situations where it's not. For example, when Boole came out with his, you know, modular arithmetic one plus one being zero, that's how we get computers. Or if it's, I'm going to round my time because that's what I have with me right now, 10, in seven hours for me, it'll be five. 10 plus seven is now five? No. We're doing modular arithmetic. There are ways to break the rules I, for good. I, I, it's, I, it's entirely context dependent. Well, I agree and disagree. I don't think that's doing math. I still think that's doing math right. You're just keeping it in the context of what it belongs, right? You can count single apples and you can count bushels of apples, but five apples plus two bushels does not make seven, right? You, you, you're contextualizing it there. Um, I still think that's doing math right. That's just making sure that you're keeping track of what base you're in. You know, mathematics is not limited to base 10. You know, so, so just being consistent, I think, is necessary. Yeah. It absolutely needs consistency and context dependency. Part of what leads me to my sort of experiential view, well, I did have an experience where I saw something in math that I thought was really beautiful and I cried for three hours. Which was oh, that's, wow. that's me in a way. You are, you, you I, are, I, Lily. I really, you are my people. You are my people, <laughs> Lily. <laughs> well, I love it's that. like, if you've ever been motivated to tears by beautiful music, that's exactly the sort of thing that happens for me when I'm just like, let's hash out like this really neat obscure proof for the Anjake lemma on graphs using the infinite matrices for this and that. I'm just like, yes, that's pretty, and I'm going to cry about it because it's so freaking cool that I get to... It's like there's this playground in my mind with ideas that I just get to run wild with, and that's sort of... Because what makes it now okay that we've done it in a single base, done an addition, I should say, in a single base 
forever. And then Bool comes out with, you know, a binary system, a base two system that we run our computers on today, or, you know, modular arithmetic base 12 it's, for our clocks. It's, it's, I, 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 I so. Nobody it, thinking to do that. If, if that blows your mind, um, I think uh, extra credits, the channel, I believe it's extra credits. Either it's extra credits or maybe it's number file. I've been really bad about remembering the exact channel, but um, <laughs> if I'm wrong on both cases, I'll try and look it up. That there's an entire video detailing um, how. Um, uh, non-Newtonian physics, you know, came about, and how it just—it's—it's—it's it's, it's fantastic. And for people who are watching who are just zoning out, because I—I I, I can see V's soul leaving their body, <laughs> just a little bit, <laughs> as a for, for a turn of phrase. Um, what's amazing, you guys watching this? Like, I've never been a math person. I've never been a math person. I've never really enjoyed math. I know that the payoff for math is way at the end after you've done all of the intense, boring work. But let me tell you something. Math is philosophy. Philosophy is math in many cases. And being able to see that and understand that really does help. Because, I, I, Lily, I, I think your your view on, on the subjective take of um, you know understanding mathematics I would never have gotten there if it wasn't for philosophy. I would never have gotten there. I would have thought, you know, one plus one always equals two. But no, because nobody really thinks. It seems obvious, but one apple plus a bushel of apples does not equal two apples, right? It is entirely context dependent. And in that same way, we just need to apply that kind of thinking, you know, to everything else. And it helps in so many arenas. That's what makes it art. I love that you said that, Eric, so much, because that's what makes it art, is that it's a creative endeavor. You're asking primarily, from what I've seen, aesthetic questions. You're guided by asking a question about some structure on an abstract, which I know is, uh, but, you know, how much of, if you put a triangle in a box, how much of its box does it take up, and why is that so? You're asking questions, you can draw pictures, you can sort of probe into this. Yeah, how many spheres can you fit into that container? What is mathematically correct. Yeah, I, so, so Lily, you seem, you are the kind of person that I would just talk all night to. I, 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 I adore it. I wish that I had more time. I know that we've got to get to a couple of other callers, but I wanted to make sure that I had time. And V had time, first of all, to dive in to, to, to respond. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not diving into this one. Okay. <laughs> I, I think it's a fascinating conversation for those of us who understand math enough to see its beauty. Um, I'm with the chat. I've also cried over math, but not because of that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Love it. for that one. V, would you like it if I called, v, <laughs> would you like it if I called back another day to maybe talk about my views about why math education sucks and how we can fix it. Oh, I have lots of feelings Traitor. about that. So, yeah, absolutely. Traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you for bringing me back on. I absolutely. You guys. Absolutely. <laughs> Take Bye. care. Oh. <Aww. laughs> Yay. 